Can you follow me? Okay, I will follow you. How can we use robots in our daily life? Somebody will say, we want a robot that can make a meal. And that seemed like something that's really simple, but it's actually very hard. But Chad Jenkins of Brown University says that there are some more realistic robot technologies that are ready for prime time right now. I think robot telepresence is the first way people are really going to experience robots and understand what they can do and what they can't do and get real human-robot interaction. Robot telepresence is kind of like video conferencing with wheels. Sounds pretty simple, but it can be a life-changing technology for somebody with a disability. Henry Evans is a quadriplegic who lives in Northern California, suffered a stroke a little over 10 years ago. Although Henry cannot speak or move most of his body, oh, wow. after extensive therapy, he was able to regain the ability to use a finger and move his head to operate a computer and a variety of robotic devices, including this one. The Beam is a commercial device from a company called Suitable Technologies. Once the Beam is set up, I can log in and go for a walk anytime I want, with no help from others. It's the closest I have come to walking in the 11 years since my stroke. Henry can visit the scientists in Rhode Island by logging into a web interface from his home in California. We actually are, are working with quadriplegics all around the world. Most of the quadriplegics that we work with have the ability to move a cursor around on the screen, do a mouse click. And this raises profound questions about how this technology could change people's lives. Can they go out and be a part of the productive workforce using robots as their embodiment? Chad's lab is also experimenting with small commercial drones to enable disabled people like Henry to move around with even greater freedom. Robotics can partner with humans in other ways as well. Claire Lomas finished the 2012 London Marathon despite being paralyzed from the waist down. She used a rewalk robotic suit. And robots like this one are helping some children with autism learn new social skills. There's something special, something magical, I would almost say, about taking the technology and giving it to people that really can use it.